Hey, all stars. Hey. Now it's time to step up your charisma, uniqueness, and talents. Because for this week's Maxi Challenge, we are playing the Snatch Game. Britney Spears is here. Hey, y'all. So happy to have you on the show. What's your favorite game? Oh, goodness. I like playing Hide the Cucumber. I love that one. Oh, yes. One of my favorites, too. I always win. Sure. When I was fat, yeah. Kevin liked to tip me in what he liked to call his man butter. Man butter! It yes. was really good. Slutty Sally is so slutty. Last time I took a ride on her disco stick, I got... I got lost. You got lost? I lost. <laughs> Am I wrong? Dumb Dee so dumb. Last night she got arrested for driving without a... A baby in her lap. A baby? <laughs> I know that they keep twitching, and I know that they're survivors, but the only way they're gonna keep surviving if they stop sniffing these markers next to me. Am I the only one who's doing it? Uh, I, I apparently, uh... It smells like home. Monique, is there Precious. everything else? Uh-oh. Is, is Precious back there? Mm-hmm. She better be cooking me something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Monique, yeah, yeah. No, it's cool, it's cool. Be cool, Monique. Hold up. Yeah, baby. Freaky Fanny is so freaky. Instead of shaking hands, she shakes a chicken leg in my face, because the bitch know I'm hungry. <laughs> bitch know it. I'm hungry as hell. We're gonna have, we'll see about getting you some food mm -hmm. over here. All right. Since I lost Barbara, yes. could we get Monique to come and be my new housekeeper? Well, you're both Academy Award winners. That skinny bitch. Oh, okay, all right, all right. The original dark lady, Cher, is here. I've been there, done that. I, I spread La Mer on my toast in the morning, all right, you know? <laughs> I'm Cher, bitch. <laughs> Yes, you okay. are. <laughs> Cher's plastic surgeon, because look at Cher. Me. Allegedly, allegedly. She looks good, I mean. <laughs> Cher, I love the hair change. Thank you, I can't go five minutes without switching a wig. I love them, I love them. <laughs> Cher, I see you're wearing your Academy, well, actually, you did not win the Academy Award that year. I didn't, but I, I'm, I'm wearing the out of this headpiece. I paid a lot for it, so. Yeah, yes, you did, yes. yes, you did. Those girls are real sleazy. They're scabies, crabs, and fleas. Don't move. <laughs> I'm afraid that's not a Goldberg, no, Ross. No. Shy Sheila is so shy that she's afraid to, I don't give a rat's ass, because this game <laughs> is boring the <laughs> out of me. I don't know why they booked me on these chicken <laughs> gigs. I'm a Oscar winner. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. It's little Edie Beal. Oh, hi, RuPaul. How is Big Edie doing? She's always begging for the pate, but the label is faded. I can never tell if it's pate or if it's giblets for the cats. <laughs> little Edie. Well, I don't know her personally, but she looks older than Mother Darling, so I said when she steps into the voting booth, she just seizures. Spelling? Seize. <laughs> Quite the scandal, actually. Yes. With my cousin-in-law, really. Yes. <laughs> he was in all the magazines at the time. <laughs> Rue, may I ask you why you couldn't have gotten any real celebrities for this game? Well, I don't have a single idea who any of these people are. <laughs> you could have gotten Leslie Caron yes. or Audrey Hepburn, or any That's one true. of them. Instead, you got ketchup. Ketchup. And that must be Janice Jixon. Dame Maggie Smith is with us. How are you, my dear? Well, past a certain age, one just feels fortunate to see the sunrise another day. Yes, <laughs> yes, Maggie Smith. Well, now let's just uh, keep it Mr. Charles and Dame Smith, shall we? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Cher, completely addicted to social media, even her blank has a Twitter account. Well, Rupal, Rupal is it? Yes, absolutely. Rupal. I understood uh, virtually none of the words that left your lips moments ago, but <laughs> uh, I did hear the term Twitter, and I assume that it's some sort of a songbird. Very close, <laughs> not a match. Am I to understand that one yanks one's telephone right out of the wall and carries it with him? <laughs> yes. Well, can you get people to, that speak normal English next time for the show? Excuse me, we originated the language. <laughs> oh. Okay. You didn't write down anything? No. Perhaps she needs another pot of ink to replenish a quill. <laughs> well, I'm unfamiliar with the work of Lady Handler. However, I did think that it would be rather amusing if there were a libation flavored with citrus. <laughs> <laughs>
can you imagine such a thing? <laughs> <laughs> that is really newfangled. I can't imagine such a thing. Yes. <laughs> Good golly, Miss Molly. It's rock and roll legend, Lil Richard. Are you feeling a little more tooty or a little more fruity? A little more tooty, baby. <laughs> 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 Shut up. Last but not least, music superstar Adele is here. Hey, girl. Could I buy vowels? <laughs> what is that, darling? No whammy. No, no, no. This is the wrong show. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I love you, Justin Bieber. <laughs> Let's move on down to rock and roll royalty. Lil Richard! Dorothy blanks the Tin Man. She tightens the screws, cause we all love a tight screw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Lil Richard, but that is not a match. Shut up. <laughs> Where in England are you from, Adele? My house. <laughs> all right, Dorothy. Blanks the Tin Man. Well, if it was me, I would say she rips out his heart and then sings a whole album about it and gets really popular, but yeah. it's not me. No, no. So I said she polishes his chrome. <laughs> it's a good answer, but not a match, darling. Well, could I get a match, please? It's a fake cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> what say you, Lil Richard? Well, you know, me and Batman and Robin have a lot in common, baby. <laughs> I said a bathhouse in a dark room with glory holes. <laughs> There'll be a lot of singing going on up in there, honey. <laughs> I'm sorry, little Richard. That is not a match. A shuttle. <laughs> Adele, how much food do you have down there, girl? Smorgas boy. I have low sugar. Oh, you have the low sugar. <laughs> I've got to keep it up. She's using my EBT card. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Raw no sugar. <laughs> All right, push it Ross. He says, Ellen is so hilarious, even her blank makes her laugh. Sad, sad tears of a clown. <laughs> yeah, like the Smokey Robinson yeah. song. I'm so sorry, but Adele, that, that is not a match. It's a mess. song. It is a song, but it's... Uh, did it's... I sing it? No, you did not sing it. It's a Smokey... So it's not a good song. <laughs> Probably still won an award for it anyway. Probably, yes. From Orange is the New Black, Uzo Aduba is here. Don't say nothing stupid. Don't say nothing stupid. Uh, how you doing, RuPaul? <laughs> Are you ready to play the game? I'm excited. I don't know why you're all gagging. She bring it to you every season. Crazy eyes. <laughs> because you pretty, I just wrote a poem yeah. to Amon. A once a queen named Amon remind me of the sun. Instead of her supermodel life, she can be my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's here. I'm sorry that I'm late, but uh, Uzo Abubu left the stage, and she asked me if I would fill in. Ladies and gentlemen, Carol Channing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she pops a pill. There is so much talk about drugs, I haven't taken anything but Lipitor for the past 10 years. You don't really get a buzz off of that. Now, is there an anal option? I might happen to have a fleet or two in my home. A fleet enema? Now you're talking my language. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. By the way, Eartha, I didn't know that was you it's down there. It's me, dog. From here, I couldn't tell if you were Della Reese or Luther Vandross. <laughs> I couldn't see. These aren't even my good glasses. <laughs> but back to the matter at hand, yes, yeah. I just wrote corn. Yeah, it's you always know, a good answer. There's no Gary, <laughs> and it comes out the way you put it in, RuPaul. <laughs> The original blonde bombshell, Mae West is here. Well, how did do, Rue? How's my little chickadee? When I'm good, I'm good. But when I'm bad, I get a serious venereal disease. <laughs> so... <laughs> Next, the totally wacky and original, Bjork is here. I love your suit. Thank you. It reminds me of the lining of my small intestines. <laughs> <laughs> Legal injections of silicone into the body. You know, I'm black by injection. Oh. 
<laughs> Moving on down to Bjorn. Actually, I think I have the right answer. Okay, you have the I right answer? They remove their testicles. <laughs> oh, the judges say no, Bjorn. Oh, I just put mine here. You have testicles? Sometimes I don't understand anything about science. <laughs> Sorry, Bjorn, but not a match, darling. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> The clinic. Yes, good answer. Right. Let's go to Mae West. Well, I'm very happy to see they have to go to the clinic. Oh, oh, we got a match. You know, I go to the one on San Vicente and Santa Monica. You know what I mean, Juju B? You've been there. I've seen you there a few times. Why do you go there, Mae West? Because after your tenth visit, you get one free. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fabulous. All right, let's move on down to Bjork. I'm very excited because I also said clinic. You said clinic. clinic. Yeah. How many bones do I win? How many bones do you want? Oh. <laughs> oh. See after the show, Bubbles. Oh. <laughs> oh. Did you hear that, Bjork? I'm down for anything, especially I'd like to eat her hair. It looks like pastrami. <laughs> Something else looks like pastrami, too. Oh. Well, Rue, I gotta say, she probed them with her Tootsie Lou. <laughs> Why don't you come on up and f me in the ass sometime? <laughs> <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, do well, you, I Mayweather? beat around the bush all the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> Ring them bells, it's Liza Minnelli. Or is it Lisa Minnulli? No, Rue, it's Liza with a Z. It has a Z. <laughs> Liza with a Z. With a Z, Rue. Yeah. <laughs> it's Liza with a Z. I said Lady Bunny's palace. Her palace? Because there's nothing like playing the palace. <laughs> <laughs> Mama played the palace, and I sat right in the fourth row room. Wow. She sang right to me. Oh, boy. And to all the other homosexuals. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to get very far in this business no, like that, no, Rue. <laughs> Rue, I said that you can swap jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> Can you show us your jazz hands? <laughs> Straight from the center square, fall in. Well, hi there, Rue. I'm glad it's you. For a second, I thought somebody had gift wrapped Flip Wilson. <laughs> Jennifer Lewis. Yes, that's right, RuPaul. That's Jennifer Lewis. One in, one eye, and a hell of a lot of talent. <laughs> None of these queens are going to do yet. <laughs> this is the most queens I've been surrounded by since Charles Nelson Riley's pool party. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said, a cocktail weenie. Because <laughs> it's to scale. <laughs> Sorry, it's not a match, Carson. It's not a match. Circle gets a square. Yeah. <laughs> Poet, activist, actress, spelling bee winner. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Lewis. Well, look at little cute little Kristen. I love her. Two Broadway divas. You know, I worked with Kristen way back in the day. That's Did right. You? Yeah, no, I'm lying. I ain't worked with that bitch. But anyhow, listen. <laughs> I think that Kristen has to fit up in that little bubble in yeah. Wicked. You saw the show I sure, saw. It. Yeah. And therefore, I think that man handed her a high five when she walked in. That would be apropos. What the apropos? Who called her? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. I'm about to have a hot flash Ooh, up in her. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm going through menopause. Are you? Yeah, I don't know why they call it menopause, though. Ain't no men up in it. <laughs> This is why I don't keep the company of the ladies. Yes. <laughs> yes. What are those, Grace Jones? That's the song. Carson, I've been meaning to get these back to you. My apologies. <laughs> I think she's also wearing your gloves, but I didn't recognize them without the Chris coming. Paul Lynn, my famous recipe for spaghetti and blank balls. Well, Rue, I just said the ones that I found the most delicious. Uh -huh. Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> The First Lady of the United States of America, Melania Trump is here. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> now, RuPaul, I did bring you a gift. Oh. Oh, is this from it's where I think it's from? Trinities. Trinities. Yeah. I love Trinities. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, this is lovely. I hope it fits. <laughs> Thank you so much. Looks like Beyonce's riding. This is the first time Beyonce's ever written for herself. Oh, Melania Trump. Melania. Melania, Melania, sorry. <laughs> it's all right, Barack, no worries. <laughs> I went with uh, Russian hooker urine. <laughs> Russian hooker urine. It has a funny smell, but it has just the right kick. That's an unusual answer. What made you think of that? I don't know. My husband does the same thing, so I figured that the Snoop Dogg would probably love it. <laughs> Not a bad idea to put testosterone in your brownies. My Not husband could use some as well. <laughs> no wonder why my husband's complaining about China all the time. <laughs> You still have a chance, darling. I said Lady Bunny is a wonderful entertainer, a humble queen, and she keeps the show going and is a handsome and smart gentleman. <laughs> close? So close, but not a match, I'm uh, afraid. <laughs> any hole is a goal. What did you say? Any hole is a goal. Oh. <laughs> My mother used to tell me that when I was little. <laughs> Up next, we've got Olympic gold medalist and trans trailblazer, Caitlyn Jenner. Hi, Caitlyn. Uh, Are you looking for love? I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for my glasses. I'm looking for a comfortable <laughs> pair of shoes right now, Ruth. 1998, did you buy it, Gus? Uh, no, I didn't. He probably wasn't even born, honey. <laughs> <laughs> found her to be quite jealous, to be honest. I find you quite annoying over here, baby. I don't know about you, baby, Gus, but that's baby. not a first date I want to go on, honey. Imagine that you're a car. Sell yourself to me. Well, this car has had a lot of miles, honey. <laughs> but you know what? The engine's still running, so I'm ready to get on the road. You ready, Gus? <laughs> I am ready. Like you, Rue, I have my Hollywood star on the Walk of Fame thing. That's you paid for it yourself, sweetie. I bet you did. What would your perfume be called? It'd be called Malibu, baby. <laughs> Everybody likes to smell like an old person in the sun of California. <laughs> <laughs> my bathroom is the only place that I'll ever take my wig off in front of anybody. Just my reflection. I feel sorry for that mirror. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gus, baby, I gotta be honest with you. Looking like this, I, I like long sleeves, baby. <laughs> Take the edge off. Next up, the legend, Miss Barbara Streisand. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous. Your voice sounds like butter. <laughs> we could do duets together. <laughs> I like a talent that's really big. Oh, you like a big one, too. Yes. I like a big yes, one. Yes, a big one. Big. Just like you, big fool. <laughs> <laughs> a snatchlerette number two. If we visit my parents, we'd have to sleep in my childhood bedroom. It only has one bunk bed. Would you want to be on the top or on the bottom? I can do it on top, and I can do it on bottom. Or actually, f it, I'll just pay for a hotel. <laughs> well, I can tell you right now that she's going to be on the bottom. Bunk. <laughs> Della, you died and you went to hell. That's why you're here. This is your hell, Della. You should have made better choices in your life. I'm gonna go for Snatchlerette number two. Snatchlerette number two. All right. I'd like to thank the Academy again. T.S. Madison is here. Is it on? Yes, it's is on. it on? The question of the day and every single day is this bitch. Record. <laughs> let me tell you something, RuPaul. Oh, what's that? I let Mimi do my nails in Atlanta, bitch. Uh -huh. I was the first big bitch walking around Atlanta with athlete's feet on my hand. <laughs> Don't you trust Mimi, honey. Don't go to her shop. I will check you, ho. <laughs> this bitch got two voices. <laughs> Bianca Del Rio is so mean. She threw what? I threw over a ruler, bitch, to make sure you had nine <laughs> inches. <laughs> and if you didn't have nine inches, I wasn't saving you, because you wasn't worth it, honey. <laughs> Tony, you got nine inches over there. Oh, we're not going to go there. <laughs> T.S. Madison, are you familiar with it? But don't you, oh, you got a new hairdo. Girl, let me tell you something. You ain't rocking 22 inches. You practically bald, bitch. You practically bald. 
22 inches. 22 inches. I got to keep cashing in your chest, yes, bitch. Honey. Yes, All right, now, what say you? Anaconda, honey. Let me tell you, if you ain't rocking at least nine inches, you can't rock with me, bitch. Oh. <laughs> nine wow. inches, honey. Silk is Tears Madison is killing it, girl. She is the captain of this cruise ship right now, girl. 